Ladies and gentlemen, months back, in April of 2022, you had Matthew Martin, a man who was there in January, acquitted because video footage showed that a law enforcement official allowed him into the building. So you already have somebody acquitted because video footage served as exculpatory evidence. Okay, this is not an example of this this entire this terrible tragedy and it was a terrible day it's not an example of trump trying to devour democracy with mindless supporters you know um waves of trump supporters trying to in a fanatical manner tear down democracy that's the way CNN and MSNBC have portrayed everything because they focus on the chaos and the mayhem and they don't see the entire picture of people being let in. So a man named uh, Matthew Martin, New York Times, CBS News, uh, Law and Crime, Washington Post. And then the, even the way they, they acknowledge, U.S. judge acquits January defendant who said he was waved in. It doesn't matter what he said. The video showed he was waved in. That's why he was acquitted. Now, there has been a leaked video that is out there. I don't know if it's uh, truthful. I don't know if it's accurate. But it looks accurate. Tucker Carlson is already on record as saying that the footage that he's seen completely tears apart the Adam Kinzinger, Liz Cheney, Democratic Committee panel um Narrative. Okay, yes, of course, there was chaos and mayhem, but according to CNN, according to CNN, CNN stated, used the phrase, mostly peaceful. If you just look at aggregate numbers, you can, CNN would have said it was mostly peaceful. Okay, they said mostly peaceful every single day, every, almost every single day that summer, and I support why people demonstrated peacefully that summer. But almost every single day you had... Part of the $1 to $2 billion in property damage, 14,000 arrests, hundreds of law enforcement officials, hundreds and hundreds throughout the, the, the country injured. Not a word from Kinzinger or Cheney, not a word from both of them or Democrats after the Dobbs decision when churches and buildings were torched. And then with CNN, when there was a building in flames that summer, the reporter says, well, fiery, but mostly peaceful. This is why 70% of Americans don't trust media. The, the, it's in your face, it's overt, it's blatant. They have a specific political goal, objective, agenda. Okay, they want to paint Trump or Trump supporters in the most negative light possible. And they want to tell you that this curfews that summer and 14,000 arrests and $1 to $2 billion in property damage, again, once again, I support why people demonstrated. They want to just forget about that it ever happened because the underlying reasons um, were noble as opposed to the underlying reasons for why Trump demonstrated. But there is no reason to justify the carnage or the mayhem and chaos that summer. It should never have happened. If the issue is political mayhem and chaos, then... You cannot allow that, even if the cause is just. Hit subscribe to this channel. I'll have a live stream later today. But there is a leaked video of the DOJ. It's it's on it's it's out there. Um, it's it, I believe leaked from the Tucker Carlson footage from Fox News, and. It shows hundreds of people being allowed into the building. Okay? Shows hundreds of people being allowed into the building. This is a problem. If you... you, you like Basically, what, what they need to do is eventually... And they could get Pelosi uh, to testify. They can force people to testify. Because there needs to be testimony as to why people were allowed into the building. We already know that 
defendant Matthew Martin was acquitted because he was let into the building. The question that nobody on MSNBC and CNN asks is why were people let into the building? Why weren't there barricades in front of the building? What happened to those barricades? What happened to those barricades? Okay, there are simple questions. If somebody asked Kinzinger, somebody asked uh, uh, James Comer should, Kevin McCarthy should ask Adam Kinzinger, what happened to the barricades outside the building? Why were law enforcement officials or people there, and I support law enforcement, but why were officials there opening up the door? People should, so if this leaked video is accurate, you have a completely different picture. A completely different picture of what happened. And that's very bad. See, here's the thing. Democrats do not want the full story. They don't want the full story out there because of the full story. See, what happens is they will give, they will, CNN will tell the truth. MSNBC will tell the truth. The New York Times will tell the truth. The Washington Post will tell the truth. Vanity Fair, Esquire, Rolling Stone, The Nation, Mother Jones, Daily Beast, all of these will tell the truth. And they will tell a certain percentage of the truth. They will not give you the aggregate, the bird's eye view. They will not give you the full story. Because the full story, Hunter's specific emails. This one they try to say, oh, Kushner's the same. There's no Kushner email stating, asking Kushner, how can you use your influence on the company's behalf? Hunter is literally being asked for his influence, which leads to Joe, and literally being thanked for, for helping facilitate meetings with Joe Biden as vice president when Joe lied about these meetings. Trump never lied about meetings set up with Kushner. Completely different. But the more you know, the more you gravitate towards Trump. And whereas... Former President Donald Trump is a bulldozer, and he's and he's very simple. And there's a simplicity in his communication skills that is both beneficial, but it's also an Achilles' heel because he Trump is like the 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 person at Thanksgiving dinner who looks at the family and says, "I'm not gonna just play ball and be nice and eat dinner and." Like as if nothing's ever happened. You did this and you did that and you did this. And so Trump is, his his biggest attribute is that he tells the truth. Nobody tells the truth more than Trump. Nobody lies more than pundits, politicians associated with the Democratic Party. They say, oh, Trump lies. Go and hold Democrats to the same standard. George Santos in New York. Oh my God, he lied. Biden routinely makes things up. He said he was arrested during the civil rights movement. They they accused him of plagiarizing a British politician's speech decades back. He's been routinely lying about lots of things, Biden. They want Santos to resign. Do they want Biden to resign? It's not good to lie about your resume. Not I don't condone that, but why... What is the, tell me what the difference is between Joe Biden and George Santos. Can somebody tell me what the difference is? I don't know. What's the difference? Because uh, they both either blatantly lie or embellish or so, but, but Biden's okay, but Santos, oh my God. So you have a situation where there's a reason that people don't trust media and still you have almost half the electorate will always side with Trump. This is something like the National Review and others. And I read the National Review and I read the Washington Examiner. I think they're fantastic publications, but they don't understand. They either don't want to understand or they don't, they just, there's this viewpoint that if Trump just changed his personality, but it doesn't, there is no personality or character or uh, demeanor that will placate media. Because media is an extension now of the Democratic Party, just like Twitter was. That's why if the leaked video is accurate, it's game-changing. And people will need to ask why the doors were open. 
Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Huge, huge.